Now, let me explain. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to, but I guess I can. Annexation doesn't change school district boundaries. Annexation changes the boundary between possibly a municipality and a township. In this case, most of the city of Columbia is actually part of Fairfield Township. This property is located in Fairfield Township, and just for everybody's benefit, in case you don't know, it's the old National Refractories or Kaiser Refractory site. There's approximately 95 acres that is owned by Buckeye Transfer Realty and Buckeye Transfer Inc. Um, they have, in the past, filed a petition for annexation. That petition was, for annexation was withdrawn. The annexation itself would be to annex the property that is already owned and would still be owned by Buckeye Transfer into the city of Columbiana. It would still be part of Fairfield Township. But what happens in the annexation, real property taxes that are assessed change between a municipality and a township. And this annexation would be no different. The idea of the agreement that's under consideration is to work out some issues of tax sharing between the city and the township so that when Buckeye Transfer does have a need for the annexation, the annexation would be able to proceed without a lot of delays that sometimes are inherent in the annexations that are not based on some form of agreement. Um, the process itself is basically where you're just basically, you're changing, I suppose you could say, the property from the township to the municipality. It's still part of Fairfield Township, but because the real property taxes are now going to go to the city, that changes how the taxes are going to be dispersed. The involvement of the school district really isn't because of the name Columbiana Exempted Village. It is really due to the fact that a question came up as to does the school district have any objection to the annexation itself when it would come. And the school district, as the superintendent has said, where this property is located is the Crestview Local School District, not the Columbiana Exempted Village School District. The annexation itself will have absolutely no change on the school district boundaries. Annexation does not control school district boundaries. Actually, a question came up um, in a city council meeting as to the position of the school district. As a result of that question, um, Buckeye Transfer was requested to obtain a letter from the city, or actually from the school district, saying that they have no objection to the annexation. If you're wondering why, it was because of the one question that came up which was, does the school district have a problem with this? Yeah, and if we don't stand to, to, uh, to gain any tax value of it, no, it, it, nor it, lose, lose any boundaries tax value. Are change. So, so where that school sets, or where that business sets now, the employees for that business would pay taxes to Crestview Schools, correct? They would play, right now, the employees pay taxes to Crestview. Crestview does have an income tax, so employees would be paying whatever Crestview's income tax is. Upon annexation, they would pay a municipal income tax. They would continue to pay whatever local income tax is imposed by the district. The real estate tax is going to change somewhat in that instead of the township receiving it, normally upon annexation, the municipality gets more of the real estate tax. For the city, you get uh, that, right. would, that would benefit the city. Right. So, so essentially, no, if they annex it with or without our approval, we're 
we really don't stand to benefit from it any yeah. which way. We aren't losing any money and we aren't gaining any money directly because the property remains where it is right now. It's still, it is now but it the part of the Crestview School District and it would remain part of the Crestview School District. We just want to make sure right. that if this is written and we decide this, that there's nothing misconstrued by any of the public of which would live within Columbia and the Columbia School District, that we reappropriated our taxes to somewhere else, rather than the fact that it isn't on our taxes that we receive. Absolutely, that's all I want to make sure. Be able to say they were never ours and never will be. Because because Absolutely. individuals speak, and I understand people have opinions, but we certainly don't want to be put into that position where it looks as though we did the wrong move. And where no. it, was, it was no move at all. So I, I could, if, if if you would prefer, have legal counsel write the letter that verifies that. <coughs> if if indeed there were any question in your minds as to the logistics of that whole move, I get what Mark's saying. All I'm saying is I don't know that the general public, if reading it. No. Um, you have a very good point, and that's why I think it was important to bring it that's why they before it. the board and sure. it, tonight. And personally, the idea of the district's legal counsel writing the letter wouldn't be a bad idea. 